cheetahs have a very long and interesting history with humans. These big cats generally do not attack people. This is because a cheetah typically prefers prey its own size or smaller. Their fragile frames do not allow them to hunt bigger creatures like water buffalo. One swift throw of a bull's head and the poor cheetah could die. A cheetah is far more likely to run from or hide from a human instead of attacking them. Ancient peoples picked up on this behavior trait and tried to tame cheetahs. They swiftly found that cheetahs are intelligent cats. They are very capable of taking the training, especially if raised from a cub by humans. Ancient kings all over Africa, the Middle East, and India kept cheetahs as pets. These cheetahs were shown off with pride. They walked on ornamented leashes and were housed in elegant yet specialized cheetah stables. These cheetahs weren't just ornamental, though. They were also used as hunting animals. A hunting cheetah is treated much like a hunting falcon. The cat is hooded and put on a leash. Then the hunting party goes to where wild game lives. Once game has been spotted, the cheetah is taken off the leash and the hood is removed. The command is given, and the big cat dashes to hunt whatever animal is chosen by its handler. Once prey has been caught, the cheetah returns to the handler with its prey and is given a reward for good behavior. Ancient Romans saw how various kings prized their cheetahs and began to keep them too. Even though lions and leopards were killed by the hundreds in the Colosseum, comparatively few cheetahs died. Now, I couldn't find sources on it, but I remember reading back in high school that the reason the Romans weren't killing the cheetahs was because they were racing them. Racing animals were a popular drawback in Rome. Fast races are often the best, and nature doesn't get much faster than two cheetahs darting across the Colosseum in chase of a hare. The next best things were staged races, in which one of the fastest dogs in the world, a greyhound, was set to race against a cheetah. Usually the cheetah would win, but sometimes the greyhound's stamina gave it the edge in longer races. Stables of racing cheetahs were kept separately from the typical animals used in the Colosseum. They were specially bred to be fast, yet docile, and were fed on wild game slaughtered in the arena. As time moved forward, cheetahs were exported further from their homes. Kings showcased cheetahs in menageries, even if hunting with them fell out of fashion. Cheetah races moved from ancient coliseums to modern racetracks. These races are now known as cheetah runs, and are typically feature single cats trying to beat their best times. Movie stars paraded cheetahs on leashes, and wealthy men rode with cheetahs in the passenger seats of their luxury cars. The cheetah became synonymous with grace, luxury, wealth, and speed. Sadly, more recent times have been a mixed bag for cheetahs. Their reputation for speed causes companies to name their goods after the cheetah, yet so much history is lost as it becomes harder and harder to find information from the bands overloading the search engines. The reputation as luxurious animals has resulted in people trying to capture and breed them, yet also results in people killing cheetahs for their fur. Bans on illegal wildlife trafficking are helping, but there's still one hard-to-battle threat to the cheetah, our dogs and cats. Many areas where cheetahs live are also home to dogs and cats. These dogs and cats aren't always given rabies shots, so rabies is a lot more common out there. This results in a surprising number of rabid dogs, cats, and even some animals you wouldn't think of, like rabid kudu. Kudu are a deer-like animal that cheetahs like to prey on. Sick animals make easy prey, which leads to cheetahs of rabies. Further exasperating the situation is the fact that almost all cheetahs are related. There was a severe genetic bottleneck in the distant past, which cheetahs never fully recovered from. In short, if one cheetah can catch an illness, there's a good chance all of them can get it. Even when the cheetahs don't get rabies, they still must compete with dogs, cats, and even humans for food and space. This makes life much more difficult for them. The cheetah faces an uncertain future. Once the consort of royalty and adored by cheering crowds, this sleek cat has begun to fade from memory and even from existence itself. May our love for this charming animal help it survive this difficult era so future generations can love the cheetah as more than just a logo and a myth.